What's up, guys? It's your boy DJ Soul Force. Anyway, guys, I'm up early this morning before the wind starts blowing here in my area. It's been windy here lately. And I'm going to take the XS609W out for a flight. I call this the Mavic Pro Wannabe. You guys can see it's a foldable drone. And it looks a lot like the Mavic Pro. This is a toy grade brush motor quad. And not too many toy grade quads win me over right away. But guys, I've flown this one a couple times uh, in the house and outside here. And this is a great little flyer. Uh, there's a WH model that does have altitude hold. The one I'm ha the one I'm demonstrating here today, doesn't have altitude hold. Even though the uh, the box did say uh, it was altitude hold. Let me go ahead and get it ready to go. Uh, the A09 has an off and on switch. Uses a proprietary battery, guys. Let's take a look at that battery real quick. It's a 3.7 volt, 900 milliamp, 900 milliamp. So that should give us a pretty decent flight time. And she does use Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and fire it up. And turn on the transmitter. Comes with this game style controller. Uh... Here you can see my controller is marked uh, with a button that says takeoff. It's an automatic takeoff. On my version, it doesn't work. On the altitude hold version, that should work fine. Let's go ahead and enter the app. And here you can see I have a picture pulled up already. By the way, the A09W has a 9, uh, <laughs> nine megapixel. has a 2 megapixel camera. And so far, the picture is looking gorgeous. There's that uh, expected lag in the 2.4 gigahertz FPV. Now, guys, I've flown this little baby a couple of times already. She performed very well, even in some uh, 9 to 11 mile per hour wind. She has that sleek, low profile body that reminds me of my Mavic Pro. Uh, I had some issues with capturing the video. The remote controller has a, a camera button and a video button. And those buttons are also on the app. So I've done a couple of tests where I activated the video from the app and wasn't able to pull it up out of my phone. Uh, I have taken some pictures. I'll go ahead and put that those previous pictures in this video. I'm going to press the record button on the controller. And I'm not sure if we have any lights blinking to indicate that we are recording. And she's a three speed guys. I'm going to go ahead and take it off in the first speed. Now remember, it doesn't have altitude hold, but it's a very, very stable quadcopter. Let's take it up. Very stable. And the wind's picking up a little bit. Go to the third speed. Bring it in closer. Get a look at the third speed yaw rate. Here we go. She's got a <laughs> she's got a nice speed on it in that third speed. You guys, uh, most of you guys like myself are starting to crave the uh, brushless motors, quadcopters. Some of these brush motor quads can still be a lot of fun. The X09 doesn't have a lot of weight on it, so it's not recommended for high winds. I 
I'm not a fan of the game style controller, but this one's not too bad. It's not one of those tiny <laughs> little game style controllers. Let's go ahead and do a flip. She flips pretty nice. In fact, she almost didn't drop at all. <laughs> Not too bad. She could be a lot of fun. <laughs> Back with Flip. Wow. Look at that pitch angle. The one thing I noticed is while recording, all four of the LEDs are blinking, which can be a little hard to uh, determine when you're actually in LVC. I was averaging around eight minutes of flight time with the 809. <laughs> And the wind is picking up a little bit, guys, but she's having no problem slicing through that wind. Some of the jerky movements you see there, guys, that's me. I'm not a thumb pad flyer, and uh, I'm not a fan of the game-style controllers. Agile little bird. <laughs> this could be a lot of fun. Especially if you're a beginner or you're just getting into quadcopters and want to practice your aerial photography skills. It's Wi-Fi FPV, guys. So, I don't expect very, very long range out of this one. But just in that little short distance, about a half a block away, uh, I'm getting much better Wi-Fi view than uh, I was getting on the SEMA X5UW I reviewed recently. Let me go ahead and take it down the block a little bit. Crystal clear picture. Oh, guys, I won't go too far with it, uh, being that... <laughs> the low profile quads like this it could be a little hard to establish orientation and her LEDs aren't the brightest but I would say that was pretty close to 30 meters and I still had excellent video And a pretty long flight time out of this thing too. She's getting tossed around by the wind down there. Okay, I shouldn't have to worry too much about orientation since we have FPV, right? But remember, we do have that serious lag going on. Here we go. She's coming in. Sticks are getting a little sluggish now. Nice, nice. This is right into the wind, guys. Now, this is with the wind at her back. Whoa! Skrrr! <laughs> it's getting ready to crash into the neighbor's house, so I had to pull back on the direction control stick. So, there we go, guys. We're still, uh, over, we're five, over five minutes into the flight time. I'm going to go ahead and stop that video now on board and 
keep her up until we go to LVC. Whoa, almost hit that light pole there. <laughs> Some of you guys may get a kick out of this, but trust me, it's not easy to concentrate on flying the quad, film the video, and narrate at the same time. So, <laughs> actually, I surprised myself that I haven't crashed a lot more quadcopters while reviewing them. <laughs> this little baby tried to fly under my son's car a little while ago. We're still in a high mode. And for at least the first five minutes of that flight, I was videotaping. And we're not at LVC yet. Fun to fly. What I'm having here, guys, is the uh, sort of a balance issue with the controller while holding the smartphone. My phone's got a little weight to it, so needless to say, that makes the front of my controller top heavy. Nice, y'all. <laughs> You guys heard me comment before how I, I like to use y'all as brakes. <laughs> well, this baby got it. She's got it. <laughs> okay, we are in LVC, guys. The lights are blinking. Bring her back down to the low speed. Didn't look like I was going to make it back to the landing pad, so I went ahead and did a, a panic land. Alright, that was kind of fun, guys. Uh, the FPV app worked really good. Uh, hopefully, we captured that video on that SD card so we can get a first-hand look at the so-called 2-megapixel camera. The camera lens is swivelable, but uh, I have a little piece of paper jammed in there. I wanted to make sure my lens stayed up in a straight angle. Uh, a lot of these toy quads with the swivelable lens is uh, they don't stay in place. Yes, it will swivel and it will go down and appear to stay down, but the vibrations from the motors eventually will work that lens back <laughs> into. Uh, a position that you didn't select anyway guys the a09 I'm not sure how to pronounce that Vizio, Vizio uh, very fun flyer the uh, 2.4 gigahertz FPV not too bad it's got a little lag in it of course you're not going to be flying this with goggles on or using this for F total FPV flying but the FPV does give you an opportunity to line up your video shots and if it is a 2 megapixel camera, we should be taking some pretty decent video here. We got the morning sun out in front of my house, guys. It's your boy DJ Soul Force. Pow! I'm out of here.